talaga tayo may guests from other parts of the world, di taray? Kasi pag-uusapan natin ang ano, absentee voting. Ayan, may flag pa ako. Oh. Oh. Sure, <laughs> <laughs> Love it. Amoy juice. Wag kasi juice Yung siya. Yung sakin, amoy ano, amoy bagoong. Ba't gano'n? <laughs> So, yung perfect pairing dyan oh. ay mangga. I guess? <laughs> yeah. Meron anxiety thinking that I'm gonna walk into the embassy. Will someone punch me? Ganun. As the, nakakaano rin. It's so interesting. Kung ganun sila, mm-hmm. may hospitals are stealing from them, bakit sila boboto ng magdanakaw? What do they see? Is it because, you know, they're not in the Philippines? It doesn't mean that just because you're not there, it doesn't mean that you care less. You have Tama naman. stuff at stake. This is the biggest battle probably of our generation. Whatever the outcome, laban pa rin. Yeah, we still fight. There's still hope. Hello mga titas! Pag-uusapan natin ngayon ay ang mga Filipino na bagaman nakakita na ng greener pasture sa ibang ano, panig ng mundo ay very much Filipino pa rin sa isip, sa salita at sa gawa. Ako si Tita Rai. And I'm Tita Tony. And this is Wines and, Wines and Titas! <laughs> So, ayun na nga, Tita Rai, we have guests from different parts of the world. And what are we gonna drink habang pinag-uusapan na ng ating mainit na topic for today? Pinang mainit din ang panahon. Ang uh, inumin natin <laughs> ay, oh my god, it's a very wet, pinang nagpapawis na. Isang Welch's sparkling rosé, non-alcoholic, kasi umaga. Yes. As if. Dalawa yung itatry natin today. Isang non-alcoholic and isang alcoholic, which is the whole garden rosé. Um... So, yan. Mamaya ito um, pang withdrawal. Walang alcohol. <laughs> oh, pag medyo mainit-init na yung discussion, magsiswitch tayo to, ano, to oh, beer, to rosé oh. beer. So, we, we'd like to welcome our guests today. Yes. First is Tito George from Singapore. <laughs> Tito George from Singapore. Hello, maganda maganda. Hello. Hello, George. Our second guest is Tita Abby from Canada. Hello, Tita Abby from Canada. <laughs> Ayan, may flag pa ako. Oh, sure, <laughs> I love it. As Para sure kami George. nasa Canada ka. <laughs> <laughs> Oo, gabing-gabi ngayon. No? So, bakit tayo may guests from other parts of the world, Tita Rai? Kasi pag-uusapan natin, ang ano, absentee voting. The hows and the whys and the where. Nasagot na yung where. And ayun, ang mga experiences ng ating mga ano, panauhin sa kanilang ano, pagboto this coming elections. Mm-hmm. And dahil dyan, simula na natin mag-pour ng ating drinks. Oo, oh, sorry. Ang talaga talaga dito drinks. <laughs> yes. The, Bago tayo magsimulang mag-discussion, di ba? Alamin natin yes. kung muna kung ano yung iniinom nila. So, George, what are you drinking today? Well, dahil uh, umaga-umaga, sa akin, kape lang. <laughs> But why kape? Kape. Kape. Start your day oh, with kape. love coffee. Ang ganda ng mug mo. I love it. Ito Ikaw nita, Abby. Ako, um, something pink. It's called Literally. Pink Pink. That's uh, 100% homegrown Ontario grapes. But I don't yeah. know, ha? Alam Pork na. Back, so, alam mo naman ang aking preference for wines. Kailangan matamis. This mm-hmm. one, I'm not so sure. Oh, I actually have oh, a question so for the tea bag. Because I have two glasses. Pag ganito ba, meron akong parang, I don't know what you call this, long stem? Long stem, uh-huh. the Th- That's Pork, usually for this sparkling. One. This one is, is it sparkling? sparkling? This yeah. one is uh-huh. not. This one is it's still. Not? So, ito okay. yung gagamitin ko. Mm-hmm. Ah, wow. Uh-oh. I learned something new every day with wines and tukas. Wow! <laughs> As you pour it straight from the bottle, ko ikaw lang ini. <laughs> <laughs> Konti amo lang kasi baka mamaya hindi mo gusto. <laughs> Oo nga, nako napadami. Na. So cheers, ah, ako rin dami ko na talaga eh, pero nan alcoholic na. Cheers, cheers, cheers. Cheers, cheers. Mga amoy juice. Wa kasi juice. Yung sa akin amoy ano, amoy bagoong, but ganun. <laughs> bagoong. <laughs> Ano Alam mo, nag-gets ko. Nag-gets ko yung pag-o. Diba? Amoy bago. Oh. It's so weird. I'm scared. Hmm, <laughs> lasang pinag-oong. Ay, juice lang siya. Parang, Parang juice lang siya. Parang juice siya. Lasa namang strawberry. Pero may saltiness siya. Uh, yun, oh, that's the bago. Strawberry na may saltiness. That's the bago. Pinag-oong ang strawberries. Ang ano natin. Yeah, it's so weird. Bago? Like... <laughs> Oo, oh, oh, kasi nagpahal siya may saltiness sa, sa lasa niya. Uh, may, 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 Medyo maasin may na makalat yung matamis, gano'n. So, yung perfect pairing dyan oh. ay mangga. I guess? Yeah. <laughs> Oo. Pero feeling ko mag-uusa mo to, Abby. Kasi matamis Talaga. siya. Bakit Oo. bagoong? Pero hindi na nakakaong may. Dahil nga siguro sa bagoong. Hindi ko alam kung bakit siya may bagoongish feels. 
Alam mo, wala yun yung ano. Hindi yan available. I looked for it. Ba, kasi nga, ayaw ng mga tao dyan ng bagoong. Bagoong. It's the bagoong. Sineko agad sa bagada. So, ano naman yung lasa ng sayo, Abby? Well, hindi siya matamis. Alam mo naman, ako ang favorite ko, Moscato, di ba? Kailangan matamis. Yeah. Fruity. This mm-hmm. one is a little bit fruity, pero ano, Dapat mukait as a regular wine. Ah, I guess so all wines for me taste the same. So, ang tip namin sa'yo, Tita oh. Abby, is kung gusto mo talaga na matamis, look for white zinfandel, tsaka yung Muscato Rosé. Muscato Rosé. Yung nakita ko yung na review nyo last week in Jacob's Creek. Parang, I'm interested to try the Muscato Rosé. Masarap Rose. siya. Oo, oh, oh, okay. masarap siya. Mm, tatamis yun. So, ikaw okay. naman, George, kamusta naman yung kape mo? <laughs> How do you like your coffee, George? Creamy. Uh, powdered coffee lang ito. <laughs> Ay, that's the best three in one ba yan? Yeah. Oo, uh, anong anong ano anong brand? Uh, old Town, yung mali Old, old Town. Ay, old Town. Old Town. Old Town. Old Town. Separate siya. Yan pag pumunta ng Singapore. Um, anong flavor? Classic lang. Mm-hmm. Ito laging ginagawa kong pasalubong. Pag <laughs> Oo nga, ako din. Ito yung binibigay ko. <laughs> Ikaw din, Abby, kahit sa Canada ka gano'n. Hindi. Pag, <laughs> pag pupunta ng Singapore, Malaysia, kung saan meron. Uh, airport okay. eh, Old Town Cafe. I forget kung Malaysia ba or sa Singapore Airport, may cafe, Old Town. Tapos nung ka maghihintay ng flight. Ah, yeah, yeah. Mm. yeah. I forget. Mm-hmm. Malaysia yata eh. Yeah, it's from Malaysia. It's from Ipoh. Anong pag-uusapan? Oh, Kalbot ako na. Mm, simulan na natin ang discussion natin. So, mga titas, Tita Abby and Tito George, nakapag-register na ba kayo? Of course. Hopefully. Yes. <laughs> yes, naman. As, ano, as citizens of the Philippines, Cheme. Kailan kayo nag-register? Exactly then time, please. <laughs> <laughs> Go, George. <laughs> si George ready to date. Actually, hawa ko yung slip ko eh. Nakasulat <laughs> <laughs> dito, June. June last year, in fairness. What? Aga naman yun. Aga pala. June. How about you, Tita Abby? I think mine was ano November 21, 2020. Ay, oh, mas maaga. This is 2020, oo. Mas maaga. Oo. But then they extended okay. it kasi to, na- to late last year because they didn't have enough, I think, na nag-register for that period. Hindi ba ganun kadami ang Filipinos in Canada? Right now, overall total population, mga a little less than 1 million siguro. But I'm not sure. Mm. Kas madami na din kasing citizens na, na hindi nag-dual. So only oh. dual citizens or permanent residents or students, for example, are only eligible to vote. I think maraming Pilipino dyan, pero wala lang din willing <laughs> mag-register. Oo, lalo na pag ano, citizens na, parang wala nang masyadong ano, they're not as rooted. I think logistics din, kasi like dun sa case ng aking besticle, sa so, Japan siya, nag-work right now, mm. pero based siya sa Fukuoka. So para mag-register, kinailangan niya mag-travel all the way to Osaka. Oh, okay. Mm-mm. Tapos, para oh, mag-register, yeah. tapos bumalik. So parang nag-spend siya ng weekend. Oh. Eh parang ilan lang din naman sa mga OFW natin could afford yung mm-hmm. ganong time to ano, go, go out, out of your way pa. Mm-hmm. Ongoing pa ba sa ibang countries? Well, you know? No, last year. Oh, last year. End of November pa? Something. November, I think last year. Oh. Yeah. Oh, hindi ko na masasabi na ano, oh, humabal kayo, hindi na pala. Oh, sorry na lang. <laughs> Next na lang, next election. Uh, uh, next elections na lang. No, since nakapag-register na kayo, meron ba kayong ano, motivations behind it? Or parang gusto nyo lang talagang i-exercise yung ano ninyo? Right as a citizen of the Philippines, kahit na wala kayo dito. Or merong particular na event na nag-trigger trigger sa inyong decision to register. Okay, timer starts now, George. <laughs> ako kasi, uh, kakakuha ko lang ng Filipino citizenship ko noong 2019. So, first time ko mag-register. Yay! Yung nga, sabi na nag-stop my ticket. Dito ko dito. So, <laughs> uh, talaga, yung nakuha ko yung citizenship ko, sabi ko, first thing, um, Chef, it's for love of country. Love of na kahit saan ako in the world. If I'm in Singapore or the United States or some, anywhere, basta gusto bumoto kasi gusto ko maging involved sa pag-develop, pag, you know, a better country, better Philippines. So, yun nga, yun ang motivation ko. Immediately, nag-register ako agad uh, as soon as I, I learn how. Got some tips from yung mga housemates ko, paano sila nag-register, and very updated naman yung Facebook page ng Philippine Embassy in Singapore. So, doon ako nakuha ng information. It's very clinical lang yung layout nila, but it's very government. But I mean, it, it's straight to the point naman. Uh, very easy. Okay naman. Yung motivation ko is, uh, para may, I, I put in my vote. Kasi alam ko naman, there are certain candidates that are very popular in these parts. And, It doesn't mean I'm part of this great majority or what naman yun. So, yun nga. Gusto ko bumoto. Can I just say, gusto ko na merong creative critic si George sa, sa layout. 
Ay, oo oh, nga, naisingit ko It's pa yun. It's very clinical. Clinical. Dapat na mga age. Dapat creative sila. Dapat mas creative sila. To appeal to mm-hmm. the younger, wow. <laughs> Tama. Oo. Oh, oh, I love it. Um, And congratulations ano. for your citizenship. Oh, oh, very yeah. rare, very yeah. rare, very rare yun ah. To actually... Yung hawak ko yung Philippine passport ko for the first time. Talaga may moment ko. Oh my God. Ito na siya. As Yay. in, nakaproud. Oh, how Congrats. about you, Tisha Abby? Oh. Me naman. Well, kasi, kailan ba ako? I moved to Canada 2018, but I started the process 2016. And the reason for me leaving is also very political. So, That's why, parang the next chance. That was a presidential elections in 2016. Tapos, mm. um, so parang I was thinking, next chance I get, I still want to vote wherever I am. But I'm leaving. Parang ganon. So parang mm. that's also my motivation. Yeah. What drove me away was the very reason why I wanted to register and vote. Because maybe, um, in the future, there's you know a chance to. Come back again to a better society. Wow. <laughs> ah, yeah. But Love yeah, it. oh, oh naman. I don't want to, ano na, not delve into the reasons why, but it's all there, right there. <laughs> And yun po yung next question. Please elaborate. Chara. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, pero follow, may follow-up question. So, parang nakikita mo na rin yung sarili mo in the future na talagang bumalik dito sa Pilipinas. Yeah, Shoot oh, things. Naman. Oh, oh, oh. Wala pa rin tatalo That's... sa mga beaches natin. Yes. Sa mga yes, underwater. Yes, mga beaches. Ay, beaches pala. <laughs> beaches. <laughs> oh, wala namang comparison ng beaches sa Singapore compared to like Philippines. Siyempre, <laughs> dito Sentosa lang ang kontra nyo. But, um, Sentosa ba? Yeah. Pwede mag-swim? May beach talaga. Pwede ba? mag-swim but yung background mo ay yung mga tag. Bankers, cargo yeah, ships. Yeah. Uh, fun. Yeah. So industrial. So It's so industrial. <laughs> industrial swimming. But if you're asking uh, if I want to go home to the Philippines, I'm asking myself that these days. Uh, do I want to go back? I do. I love the love of the Philippines. I know I got my Filipino citizenship, but you know, I'm about to say it for Maybe I'm not the only one who thinks like that. How long have you been I'm in sure Singapore all. for, George? Ten years now. This Ten this years? month. Ten years. Ten years. Oh wow! Month, congratulations. Yeah. Yeah, bida mo pa lang milestones this year, ha? Huh? I mean last year, yeah. Uh, 2019 pala yung citizenship mo. Wow. <laughs> na Cheers, tayo, Cheers. 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 Hey, congrats. But I have a question for George. Kung wari sa Singapore ba? Mauminom. Well, You can't be a citizen. You can't be if you're not born in Singapore. You can't. You can't just be a resident. No? There is a pathway to citizenship here, but it's very, very difficult. Even getting PR or permanent residency. So nagapply ako ng 2016 na reject, and then um palo kolit mm-hmm. magapply. Uh, I'm not sure, but the wala akong kilala sa mga friends ko, Filipino friends here who've been here in the past 10 years na approving PR application. Lahat rejected. Wow. Only people who've been here more than 10 years ago, maybe from 2008, 2007, mm-hmm. ganun, may mga PR sila. Love. Kaya ang dami kong friends dito na who moved on to Australia, New Zealand, Canada. Mm-hmm. And they can bring their whole families pa. Kasi dito mm-hmm. may mga stories of like yung PR sila but yung, yung anak nila hindi ma-approve yung PR. So, na- nasa-split yung family. May mga ganun. Very competitive. And yun nga, ang dami kong tanong. 10 years nga yung milestone but... It's not guaranteed. Uh, yeah, not guaranteed. Mm-hmm. Like, what, what, yung mga tanong ko ngayon, saan ako magsasettle down? Philippines ba yun? Um, in light of mm-hmm. uh, things that are happening back home. Kaya kaboboto. <laughs> Hey, I'm going back. Back. I'm going to vote. I say I believe in you know certain candidates. So yeah. Are you guys ready to vote? Like, do you have a list already of? to vote for? I don't have a complete list. I have an inkling like who I want to vote for, for president, vice president, senate Same. president. Uh-oh. Before I get to that point, I have an apprehension or an anxiety thinking that I'm going to walk into the embassy to vote this April because uh, we can vote a month ahead. Then I was feeling, ko, ano ba? will I wear a, a mask of a certain color? Will someone punch me? There are some anxiety. It happens. Eh. It happens. Eh. My I story, the example of my housemate here, they Lucky Plaza, which is like your little Philippines here. Yung parang mm-hmm. remittance centers, food court, mga kabayan, mga may Jollibee doon. Tapos ang kwento niya, nandun, lumabas lang siya ng isang grocery store. Tapos may isang lalaki na kasuot ng bawal na bawal pala sa Singapore. Yung, you cannot wear anything political. Anything. So mga higit. Wow. But for some reason, may nakalusot sa Lucky Plaza. May suot siyang initials ng isang certain candidate. Um, very popular candidate. Tapos parang pinaflap yung jacket. Parang bird. Mm-hmm. <laughs> parang I'm this, I'm supporting. Kasi nakita na yung housemate ko suot Yung example, pink mask yung house mate ko ganun, or pink yung suod. So, big lang this other person like flashing his jacket with the initials of the certain candidate. So, parang, sabi ko, oh my God, ganun. 
I, I haven't been to Lucky Plaza since. But parang yun ang sense ko dito na parang it's contentious talaga. <laughs> so may anxiety ako thinking na pumunta ng embassy to vote. How will it feel? Will people you know be heckling or I don't know? Excited ba ako oh. isip, but No, it's not tama lang yun. Kasi kasi may mga instances ng of yung mga caravans then regaite dito locally na kinukuyog ng ibang mm-hmm. ano ng ng katunggaling ano supporters tapos ako kung ako sa iyo <laughs> yan wear black <laughs> oo binibigay mean, ba diba? kasi okay. parang ang importante naman kung ano yung isusulat mo sa ballot di ba agree And, kung mas komportable ka na feeling mo safe ka if you wear neutrals ganyan hindi ko oo pwede ka naman mag voice out ng whatever support outside na da ano embassy yeah. where it's safe or... may support group dito na parang if you're choosing a particular candidate uh, like the one that I'm going for parang may nag-message sa akin na sama-sama na lang tayo kung sa embassy Oh, that's nice. Yeah, but tell me the first time voter ako. Sabi, let's go together. Mm-hmm. Sabi ng feeling na may, yeah, may presence naman dito for the present campaigning for some. Mm-hmm. Peter is a community. Right. Say, Abby, paano yung yung method of voting ninyo dyan? When I registered last 2020, actually very vague yung ano nila, yung instruction. So they gave me this slip para siyang some sort of receipt na nag-register ka. And then they told me that they will mail me the the ballot siguro within the, the, mm-hmm. the month before the elections. And then, ano lang siya, i-mail mo lang siya. So wala akong ganun kind of worry na kuyog kasi at least it's private and then I can just mail it. Kasi ako wala akong masyadong sense here how people are like in terms of their voting. It's it's so divisive mm. that it's kind of ganun siguro yung apprehension ko. It's kind of scary to uh, broach the subject because you don't know who you're gonna encounter. Like for example, a long time friend of yours na forever friend mo for the longest time and then all of a sudden iba pala yung political inclination niya sa'yo and that can really divide you. I've had family members who are like that and it's really painful just to watch them at least okay na yung ina-attack din ako personally okay lang sa akin yun but to actually see them go down that rabbit hole parang ay nako there's no way of saving oh, oh. <laughs> oh, saving talaga oh, grabe yung sorry, sorry. sorry wait Tita Rai bilang umiinit na yung usapan natin kailangan natin mag-switch sa ay wow beer na ano oras na yun something oh, alcoholic oh. grabe somebody is hayo what is that oh kasi yung sinasabi ni Charles <laughs> Minus, minus. Harassment. Harassment. Habang nag-open pina jinx, may tanong ako kay Abby. Abby, mm-hmm. uh, how's your household arrangement? Do you live with flatmates? Live on your own? Kasi yung tanong ko, how, how do you... Yung, de- yung environment, is it healthy? Oh, boy! <laughs> healthy ba? Oh, healthy ba? I mean, yung environment, like, the It's place. very healthy. It's very healthy. I actually live very with my healthy. partner now. Nung pandemic, um, parang nag-quarantine kami because we were scared of, you know, being apart and then pag nag-together, baka magka-COVID, etc. So, parang we decided quarantine muna. So parang in a way that was a uh, parang trial and then late last year, I think sometime sep- September was when I officially moved in. Killing. Ay killing. Nako, ayan na ano, sa buong pamilya ko, no? I live with a partner. <laughs> How about you, George? How's your arrangement there? Uh, house. I live with my partner and my housemate, so uh, marami kami ah, and all black Filipinos. Kami, Filipinos and majority kami inclined to uh, one certain candidate. So I feel ah, healthy. I feel like pag labas ko ng room, okay na. I think si Ryan ready na mag pour ng drink. Ah so, ah. Hindi ka na ipo pour na from yeah, the. Yeah, oh, oh, from that's the a good. That's good. Para good. ano? Para nakita ng viewers. Ayan. Pink wow. den siya. That's and nice. more bubbly, more foamy. bubbly than the ano. Ah, uh, kasi mm. foamy, foamy siya Sorry. than the. What drink is it? Welch. Oh, um, Garden. 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 Rosé. Rosé. Beer naman. Amoy beer. Ito, amoy ano naman siya. <laughs> Amoy wheat beer. Am I favorite? Am I well before my favorite? <laughs> yeah, masarap. Ayon sarap. Masarap siya. Matamis. Raspberry. That's my favorite. Yeah. Raspberry. 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 Nasalig. Ato. Magugustuhan mo din to Abby. Matamis siya. Beer. Hindi ako beer drinker. Eh. Pero, Pero ako matamis si Gefan. Sorry, I wanted to go back to what George was saying about the healthy living situation. Because I know of people, their friends, then living with their own family members. Na like for example, iba na mag or not political. Well, it is kind of political. But here in North America. Masyadong, ano, masyadong mainit yung talks about vaccine mandates. As in, every weekend, there are protests about people saying na, oh, freedom, ganyan-ganyan. Sabi ko, itong mga taong to, yung pinaglalaban, freedom, freedom. Sabi ko, just ko, ang dami nagugutom sa Pilipinas. And yung mga protest nyo para personal privilege, personal rights. Just because the government is asking them to wear a mask, they feel na their their freedom is hampered or being okay, controlled you know, by the government. Yeah. So, yung ano naman dito, yung divisiveness is yun, parang anti-masker, anti 
anti-vaxxer and those who are supporting and who believe that there is a thing as the coronavirus. Kasi iba, di ba talagang, it's a hoax, it's a way for the government to control us, to put microchips in our brain, stuff like that. So yun yung pinaglalaban nila dito, which I feel so out of touch with. Kasi parang, ha, nakakita ko ng matinding guto, matinding paghihira where I am from. And then these people are so privileged, maka-experience lang ng konting discomfort. Parang ano na sila, ready na sila mag-wage ng war. Tapos parang, it's just so different to experience yeah. that kind of world. Dito naman, marami rin kasi nagsasabi na ano, COVID is a hoax kasi it's a way for hospitals to, to profit suck off. money. Oh, to profit yeah. off from, oh from everybody. Gosh. Parang magkaiba mm. man yung ano, struggles. Pero, as ta, nakaka-ano rin. It's so rin, interesting. Nakaka- Kung ganun sila mm. na hospitals are stealing from them, bakit sila boboto ng magnanakaw? <laughs> wow, balik tayo. <laughs> Kung diba, parang oh, uh-huh. walang COVID kasi mga hospital. Pero ibaboto ko to kasi magaling. Okay lang nagnakaw before. Napatunayan naman na convicted siya. He did something wrong. Pero parang mm. for those people, they don't think it's enough. Parang ganun. Mm-hmm. Parang diba? it's excusable. Apologetics yun nga yung tawag. Yeah, diba? yeah, eh. They forgive. Okay lang. Parang yun din ang hindi ko mag-gets. I swear. Ewan ko. I think it's algorithm. Yes. Uh-oh. 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 Malaking factor yung social media, the big tech companies that right now, if, you, if those people who support the other candidate that we were voting for, ganun, curious ako lagi malaman, where do you get your news? Ano bang lumalabas sa, sa Facebook feed nyo, Twitter nyo? Kasi feeling ko, it's just this, alam yun, it's an algorithm thing just to get people to be more rattled, more emotional, more reactive. Mm-hmm. And pag ganun, uh, what do you call it? Echo chamber? So, parang... Yeah, yeah. Echo chamber. Echo chamber. So, feel ko yung Twitter ko, may sinusubukan sa akin. Kasi, ang lumalabas sa, ano ko, suggested, <laughs> suggested tweets ko are, are from ano, the other camp. Hindi ko alam kung parang gusto ba nila akong magkalit, start a conversation para may may traction, ganyan. Pero parang minsan nakakainis kasi the very reason why hindi ako active sa Facebook kasi nga iniiwasan ko tapos sabay dito sa Twitter, biglang siya naman yung mm-hmm. have some more of what you're missing. And maybe nga yung algorithm has something to do with it. Ang scary about algorithms is kaya mo siyang makontrol, especially for places or areas wherein wala pa talagang napipili na candidate o yung on the fence. Those who can easily be swayed. Parang yun yung scary part doon kasi diba na ma-manipulate na sila without them knowing it because of fake news. Ang napapansin ko dyan, tama yung mga on the fence and you're not sure, they're not sure yet that who are easily swayed. There's also, if you notice, parang may certain type of personality, vulnerability to what kind mm-hmm. of information that is most, more appealing to them. Ano na yan, overall makeup na yan, experience, um, kung makikita kasi, like for example, again, comparing it to what's going on here in North America, America. If you notice most of those extreme, uh, the the right wing, ito yung mga an older generation who lived in a time that it's okay to harass women on the streets, uh, to mm-hmm. exercise extreme masculinity, white supremacy, for example. There's a certain personality that appeals to a certain type of information then. Siguro yung mga those who feel emasculated, disempowered, tapos mm-hmm. nakita nila there's this strong candidate na who can get away with anything, na malakas yung put. It's also a popularity contest. So um, they, I know, they side with the someone who they feel na kind of fights for what they also missed in their life or something like that. Tsaka, ang mahirap is, you know, yung mga talagang sobrang sold na sa ganyang kind of ideology. It's hard to sway them back because first of all, they don't want to be proven wrong. Talagang in yeah. any yep. way. Mm-hmm. If you say, oh, ito yung ano, ito yung papers, um, the documents proving that he was convicted, they turn the other cheek. Talagang kahit anong excuse he will come up with to say na I'm not wrong. My choice is the right so one. So it's an ego thing then. My talaga. choice is ego. It, it, it all boils down. Oo, oh, oh, yung mga na. Kaya ganun na lang si ano eh. <laughs> Sina! Just because of that. Obvious, obvious, I want to I want to ask from Abby, just because as another o- OFW, uh, you know, prep- malakas yung certain candidate, the stronger, the stronger candidate there, this in the front runner. He's really strong with OFWs, mm-hmm. and that is something I, I can't answer to it. Because I'm a new voter, but and I'm still trying to wrap my head around. Here in Singapore, it's a fact that you know, overwhelming majority landslide si President Duterte really. Really, won. I didn't know yeah, that. Landslide talaga dito from 2016, and apparently we're headed in that direction in this year. But I haven't really done enough, you know, research about like, where's the support coming from for, let's say, for example, his daughter Sarah Duterte was running mm-hmm. for vice president. So uh, I want to know why. What did they see? Is it because you know they're not in the Philippines? You know, they feel more comfortable. For example, here in Singapore, mm-hmm. they see. Uh, 
but you know very clean orderly here but it's not apples to apples eh. I- iba ang Philippines eh. so i want yeah. to know more of that how was it like in canada though in canada i actually don't know the in terms of the last elections the results kung sino yung nanaig but um i can feel it i remember when um i know this is also very political and i probably shouldn't dwell on this but um nakita ko siya on the issue of ABS-CBN franchise that's also highly political so nung dinidiscuss yun dun ko nakita yung some of the communities or some of the Filipinos here what their political leanings are even if for example mm-hmm. they've been highly associated with ABS-CBN or they've been a partner with it's so clear what the agenda are so kahit yung mga simple not simple but there are issues like the ABS-CBN franchise even if I didn't know what their political leanings were before but because of that issue which was highly politically charged nakita ko na ah madami where do you get your news? Fox Fox <laughs> <laughs> oh, <laughs> about the Philippines no. <laughs> Ako, ano, TikTok. news.com para ABS, CBN news.com, Rappler. I don't do Facebook. Um, hindi din ako masyadong to Twitter. It's mostly Instagram and I talk to you guys, friends, back home. Mm-hmm. But yun nga, again, like what George was saying earlier, it's an echo chamber din eh. Only with, kasi nakikita ko sa Facebook, may mga family members ako, nakita ko yung posts nila na doon ko nakikita yung other side, which I, mm-hmm. myself, completely ignore talaga. So I'm sure the other side is also ignoring what our side is posting out there too. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I, I'm not sure you were whispering something or. Yeah, I was talking. Kaya sa mga yung argument. Kaya sa mga Okay, I was like, may suspense mo na dun. Kaya sa mga yung 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 kung saan lugar na where they are in the world. Uh, ang rule sa amin, like sa company namin, is we're Switzerland. Yun laging turo sa amin. When you say we're Switzerland, we really have to be as neutral as possible, not not really show your political leanings anywhere. And I'm not a journalist, but I speak with journalists. So ang ginagawa ko, I don't want to be in that echo chamber na, na I'm just reading the tweets or just reading from Rappler, Inquirer, ganun. I actually follow some Twitter accounts from the, let's say, the opposition, from people that I don't agree with. I really want to break tama, that. Tama na, naman. Na may nababasa ko, ah, okay, may sinasabi naman tong isa na ganito din yung counterpoint. Sometimes it, it makes my blood boil. But at the same time, na parang if you're uh-huh. stuck in an echo chamber, make an effort to just find someone reputable on the other side who has an opposing view or more neutral view and follow them. Para at least yung view natin is a bit more like, it's more, hindi siya like uh, isang, uh-huh. isang, isang ano lang. That's what I do. And uh, ako rin eh, like, lumalabas din sa feed ko kahit na sabihin kong echo chamber ko yung Twitter. The fact na meron naman nakakapasok, at least okay lang. Kaya ko pagpaunti-unti. Basta wag lang bukos tulad ng sa Facebook. So since papalapit na nga yung election dito sa ano sa Pilipinas sa May 9, paano yung sitwasyon diyan sa ano sa Singapore and sa Canada? Alam ko they probably advance kasi kailangan nila bilangin din. Paano yung process? Kung may guidelines na. Chineko, so I'm sorry for saying na clinical ang design ng no, Philippine okay embassy okay. Singapore. I think <laughs> they're doing a good job because they actually very updated naman sila tong pandemic. Talagang uh, very nakapost lahat ng restrictions. Pinapaalala nila sa 200,000 300,000 Filipinos here. Um, majority of which are kasambahay, di ba? But yung voting dito is April 10 to May 9. Hmm. And ang intindi ko, magbaboto kami sa mismo embassy anytime during that period you could walk so in tindi ko you can walk in i could be wrong but maybe i can update you guys later on of course if you're pre-registered so i have my my uh-huh. slip here so we're going housemates together i think or yung support support group talaga sabi nila sama sama lang uh, if you ever need you want to be accompanied if you feel afraid ganun talagang kind of scary no na we live in a time na you you feel anxious to go to vote kasi you might be harassed how about oh. in canada abby Here, I found this article from actually from Rappler pa nga eh, about modes of voting depending on your region. So Middle East, Ganyan, North America. Mode of voting is through postal. They send you a ballot and then you just fill it out and then you send it back. Mm-hmm. But the counting, I think that's automated. Because I know it's different. There's other manual. Talaga. They go to a classroom or what, whatever and then they count. But Dito yun. Dito yun sa Pilipinas. Ayun. Sa mga provinces din. Sa classroom. Ganyan. Mga teacher, volunteers. Ganyan. So dito, um, automated yung voting, tapos mail-in ballot. So, balik ko yung kay George. No? Sa Singapore, wala silang guidelines na specific sa COVID or parang nandun lang yung minimum health, ano, oh, yeah. na nakamask ka, going inside, ganon. Tama, good question. Uh-oh. Kasi sa Singapore, limit rate now, public gathering, uh, people of five. Groups of five lang. Mm-hmm. So, sabi ko, paano yun pagdating ng April kung groups of five pa rin yan? And I'm assuming na 
mahabang pila yan sa labas ng Philippine mm-hmm. Embassy. Yeah. I will say, uh, at the time of this recording, na I haven't checked on the website. Then. Active naman mag-post si Philippine Embassy in Singapore. Ang tindi ko lang is, pupunta talaga sa Embassy, don't go boto. Hindi siya parang sigwa sa Canada like what Abby shared. Okay, so itong question na to, tinatang ko na kay Tita Ray, are you hopeful? For the sa... future of our country? Mm-hmm. Yes. Uh, yeah. Hopefully. Especially yeah. Um, after hearing friends, family standing up for something that I also personally believe in. With all honesty and boldness, I'd like to say na tama <laughs> versus any other ideology or algorithms out there. Dahil malakas din yung voice na yun, for me, there's still hope. There's always hope. <laughs> for me, I've had my doubts. I've shared my doubts. Uh, alam nyo, Tito Tony, Tita Rai. I've had my doubts in the past few months. Siguro kasi nakakapagod din when you see people posting on social media na parang, how come you believe in this? Na parang, at nga, the facts are there. But I'm not losing hope. Not at all. And I have you, my friends as well, who remind me to mm-hmm. slap me in the face and say, oh, come on, give up. Meron, may mm-hmm. laban pa tayo. We can still fight. And this is the biggest battle probably of our generation. Whatever the outcome, laban pa rin. Yeah, we still fight. There's still hope. You must have hope. Yeah! Oh, wow! Cheers to that! Cheers to that! Cheers! Cheers. Kayo, do you feel the hope? I know, because Kunwari, right now you are in the Philippines, entrenched in yeah. all of the crazy talks everywhere. Do you feel a sense of optimism? Kaya pa naman, ma'am. Ma'am, kaya pa naman. <laughs> Kakayanin. <laughs> Kakayanin. Ako, personally, I have nowhere else to go. I have to have hope. Kasi, ito na yun eh. Dito lang ako eh. So, parang, ang option ko lang is lumaban. Parang ganon. Anyway, Tita Tony, how about you? Mm-hmm. Ako, I will echo lang what you said last time. I think I will also never lose hope. Wow. Lasing ba ako nun? Oo, oh, oh, lasing ka nun. Ito na makalala. <laughs> kahit pag ganong ka, hirap yung battle. Kasi kayo, di ba, sa Singapore and Canada, news na lang yung naaabutan nyo. Most probably pa, baka hindi pa na, na feature yung ibang mga, uh, di ba, news items here in the Philippines. But here talaga, parang kaliwat kanan, pagbukas mo ng social media, ang dami mo makikita, ang dami mo mabasa, and marami rin sobrang negative na mababasa kung hindi ganong ka taas yung optimism mo or yung hope mo, panghihinaan ka ng loob. Pero I'm happy kasi yung kahit naisipin ko na nasa mini echo chamber ko, ang dami nung naririnig ko na tao na nag-change of heart or at least tinatry na nalang tignan yung kung ano talaga yung nagawa ng candidate na preferred natin. I'm not saying na para-para tayo ng ano, preference ha, pero uh-huh. sinasabi, uh-huh. Lang, sinasabi ko lang na napaka-device. Oh, blue kaya yung buhok mo. <laughs> okay, kahit blue yan, pink ang loob. Charot. Wow. <laughs> so yung bra, charot. Bra yung panty. <laughs> Ganda, yeah, ganda no. Tsaka syempre, para kami naman, kunwari ni George, we don't want to sound too hypocritical that we have a lot to say. Kasi technically, indirectly affected naman kami. Of course, our family and friends are directly affected by what's happening. But uh, personally, parang it's hard to, ano din eh, parang to make really bold statements out there. Tapos, masasabihan ka lang na, eh, wala ka. Tapos, ikaw umalis, ganyan-ganyan. Ikaw din, parang, it doesn't mean that just because you're not there, it doesn't mean that you care less. You have stuff at stake. May taya, may taya pa rin. At may, meron din, oh. matatalo ka din. I just don't like it when people say na, eh, ikaw nga umalis, eh, ganyan. Gumive up ka na, ganyan. So, parang, medyo nakaka-ano din, nakakayurak ka ng, ano, <laughs> ng pagkatao. Kasi you question yourself din, na parang, oh, oh nga naman, no. Parang you also have some sort of introspection na, why am I speaking up when um, I'm not even there to do something about the situation? For me, and I, I hope also for George, na voting is one way to make a stand na tataya pa rin kahit na malayo. Kaya nga ako nag-register. Yeah, going back to that. Kaya ka nga nag-citizen, <laughs> di ba? Yeah. Because I care. I care about what happens to family, sa friends, ko, especially sa friends. Ko I have a lot of friends in the Philippines. Kayo. So, what happens to you? matters to me. Parang leaving the Philippines doesn't make you less of a Filipino than the ones living here. Kasi marami naman din tao dito na hindi naman din makapilipino ang pag-uugali. Lalo na ni ano, sarap. <laughs> Basta, Pilipino tayo sa isip, sa ita at sa gawa. Ang ending ba natin, magpapanatang makabayan ba tayo? <laughs> Hindi ko nakapisado yung yung new version ko na alam. Hindi ko alam yung new version. Mas maganda yung luma, parang mas poetic. 
mas mahaba yung mm. ano yung bago di ba yung bago taglish mm. panala maka country taglish ba <laughs> ano ka ba niloloko ka ni <laughs> ano ba rin pledge of allegiance ba yun ano ba siya hindi ko alam oo oh, oh, yun yung ah oh, pledge of allegiance pledge of allegiance <laughs> parang ano lang yan eh pinapalitan yung apostles creed ganyan Pag, depende kung sino pope <laughs> <laughs> Di ba, nung bata ka, exam yan sa Christian living. Kailangan mong isulat yung I believe in God, oh. dapat memorize mo. <laughs> Tapos pinag napapalitan, nakakaano kaya yun? Parang, ha? Huh? <laughs> In fairness, salamat sa pag-ano, sa pag-join. So, yung sa'yo nausapan natin. Oo. Parang, kasi very political and it's something na we haven't done for the past five years and very refreshing yung ganitong usapan na nai- papalabas din natin sa public. Tapos, yun, handa-handa na lang sa mga bashers. Okay, off your comments section. It's fun. <laughs> yeah. No, bring it. Oo, go lang. Usap so, tayo. Yeah. Okay, okay, usap tayo sa comments. Sorry, sorry. Yeah. Sorry, usap tayo, ha? Ah. <laughs> ano, ha? <laughs> ano, malumanay na usapan. Oo. We're very open naman. Diba? Pag may na-offend man, yeah. sorry na. <laughs> so Tita George, Tita Abby, maraming salamat sa pag ano, sa pagsali sa usapan ngayong ano, ngayong araw na to. Thank you for having us. It was Thanks for having fun. us. Oh, meron ba kayong gustong i-promote sa ating mga well, viewers? <laughs> Um, Seryoso yun. Go. Go, Tita Abby. QR code dito. Uh-oh. QR code? Go. Gcash. Gcash. <laughs> Please download I Want TFC. <laughs> sa mga Pilipino, no matter where you are, sa Singapore, sa Middle East, it's for everyone. Meron kami targets to hit. <laughs> Please download and um, register for a premium account for an unlimited movie and series Filipino titles. It's the home of Filipino stories. So download I Want You to See Now. Hmm. Okay. Bye. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, George. Panalo ka. Plus one yan sa kota na yan. <laughs> oh, oh. Ikaw, George, how about you? Hi, sa lang pa-promote ko yung podcast ko called Are You Local? It features conversations with people who are finding their place far from home. I'll, I guess I'll just drop it, the link in the description. But it's called Are You Local? It's on Is Spotify. it on Spotify? Okay. okay. Ayun. So, ako yung mga titas natin dyan kung gusto nyo mag-usap and everything. Um, pwede kayo mag-comment down below sa aming comment section or talk to us sa aming Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. That's at Wines and Titas. At ang Wines and Titas ay parte na rin ng The Bang Collective. So, punta lamang sa www.thebangph.com slash Wines and Titas to view our previous episodes. And also, ikot ikot kayo dun for the other podcast na part ng Bang Collective. Yan. How about you, Tita Tony? And may pa-promote ka. <laughs> yes. Don't forget to click like and subscribe uh-huh. on our YouTube channel uh, uh-huh. and the bell icon for notifications. Tama yan. So, hanggang sa muli. Oo. Yes! Tama na ba? Yay! Sa muli, mga titas, medyo ubos na ang ating mga ano, wala na tayong ipang cheers. But like, paalam <laughs> sa inyong lahat. We'll see you Thank next Thank you for joining. Time. Thank you, Abby. Cheers. Thank you, George. Cheers! Cheers, everyone. Cheers. Cheers.